<laughs> Welcome to Call of Cthulhu. Are we ready, guys, to enter the madness? Let's start a new game. Okay. Chapter 1 Pierce Investigations Agency, Boston. Boston, 1984. Edward Pierce, veteran of the First World War, drowns his memories in liquor and sleeping pills. He's now a private detective who has trouble finding a case able to lift him from his tor torpor. Pierce must find a new case quickly or risk losing his license. I hear. If I met, it is mercy. May the gods pity the man who is in his callousness. Can remain. They have to read it all. What the hell? My guy. Where are you going? How did you get here? You drink too much, sir. Huh? Move. Uh. Why are we in a cave with a lot of that fish crouch? No open this. Crouch through here. Another chain there. Can I take this candle? Oh. Counter darkness. You must light up some items in order to interact with them. Ah, so if it's dark, you cannot see them or pick them up. Pick an object. Ooh. Okay. Now I can see. I feel like I'm playing Amnesia. What is that? Ball cutters, classic. If I go, I'm gonna go through here. Cut that shit up. Hello B, thank you for the lurkies. There's an orca. This piece is kind of creepy too, no? What a putrid offering. Offering? What are you on about, mate? Run? Why should I run? Don't tell me. So I can run with shift. You have been chosen. I don't want to be chosen. Oh, I can use a flashlight like that to illuminate more. Everything has already been written. Squidman. <laughs> My guy is having a nightmare. What kind of nightmares are those? I hate whiskey. Stop drinking, mate. Pierce Investigations Agency, 
been too long since I've slept in a bed. Why? The lost battalion. Holding your position and obeying orders. That isn't courage. Mm hmm. Oops. I'm gonna inspect everything. I'm gonna take his. I take my time with this. I used to be an avid reader. Certificate of membership. The Wentworth Agency doesn't attract top-notch cases. Hmm. Nope. Married woman runs off with her girlfriend. The husband couldn't understand it. I move here, guys, so we can read the text. The husband never understood that his wife had left him. He kept on calling me weeks after the investigation had been closed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anything else? A good old story of blackmail in a speakeasy. So these are all, all the other cases that Pierce has uh, investigated, no? Case solved. Okay. Natural sciences, linguistics, archaeology. We're kind of a Sherlock Holmes, no? At home. I should get Walmart version. Stuff. How do you want to get rid of this stuff? This is like previous investigations or something. Oh, no more music. It's been a while since I jotted down something other than my nightmares. Oh, so this is the menu. The case Pierce Starwater Clues Inventory. Huh? Uh, 20 October 1924. The doctor can well repeat to me that I no longer need my remedy to keep my memories at bay, but I know that if I stop, the memories will return. One of these mornings, I probably won't wake up. Is that because of all the nightmares he's having? Despite the treat, what, what, what's he calling it the memories? Has he actually lived that? I'm not sure. Maybe he's traumatized by some experience in his life, reliving it in his uh, dreams as nightmares. Uh -huh. Despite the treatment, I again hear voices in my dreams, but they are different and known. They seem to surface from unfath unfathomable and ancient depths. What nameless creature is calling me? Yeah. Oh, we have a like an, uh, a skill tree, I guess you can say. Huh? Insanity. Mental trauma. Nightmares. I'm not going to be reading everything because it's going to take me a long, but I'm going to put it on the screen so you guys can follow as well. Hmm. So it has like some kind of a PTSD. Consume sleeping pills and live for. I see, that's cool, no? Dark water, is this the place we're going? Places. Yeah. I'm gonna be checking this menu when we discover new places and stuff, so. Clues inventory. Oh, we have a lighter from a. Uh, from the battalion. Let's go. Do that drink? I'm not gonna drink. I'm listening. Yeah, there is a board game as well, maybe. Contracted by the Wentworth Detective Agency. That's correct. That's Hello, it. Mr. Pierce. I'm Lucy Sheriffield, in charge of investigators over at Wentworth. I'm calling because of a problem with your file. A fire has destroyed some of our documents. Is that right? I'm so very sorry, but I have to collect your personal information yet again. Huh? Allocate your character points. Eight CP character points available. Okay, so what should we go for, guys? Should we go for dialogues, spot hidden, strength, medicine, occultism, psychology, investigation? What should we go for, guys? Hmm. Spot hidden? Okay. So we're going for this. This. Cool. Validate. Oh, that's cost one point? Oh, for next level. So we can put more. There you go. There you go. So now we have unlocked more of that shit. Thank you for this information, Mr. Pierce. Our files will soon be up to date. You're welcome. 
May I raise a sensitive question? What's wrong? As you know, we wish to closely monitor the progress of our contractors. And it would seem you've been accepting fewer new cases. Work is I'm scarce. trying it. Mr. Pierce, you know as well as I do, there's never been more investigative work than now. But are those cases worth it? They're worth not losing your license. <laughs> Show yourself worthy of the Wentworth Detective Agency, and we might keep you on the payroll. Hmm. Mr. Pierce, are you still... <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? I'm coming. Edward has no chill. Oh, there's someone on the door. <clears throat> Sir, I came here on the advice of a person whom I hold in high esteem. And I must say that I expected anything but a drunkard's lair. <laughs> Roasted. Hey, I'm fine. I'm doing fine. I'm just... You're free to leave anytime, sir. Do you know to whom you speak? Is Stephen your... Webster, industrialist and art collector. <laughs> All of Boston knows you. Tell me, Mr. Pierce, are you capable of handling a new case or are you simply a deadbeat inebriate? If you come to me, it means you're desperate. Nobody believes me. They take me for an old fool. Sarah, my little girl. She is dead. Even you must know of her. She was Sarah Hawkins. The painter? Yes. Everyone knows her work. The police Barely accuse her. her of killing her family. They all died in a fire. Sarah, her husband, and Simon, my grandson. I can't do anything for a woman who is already dead. Find out the truth. They say she was mad, but I know that's a lie. She would never have done such a thing. But if you have no proof... I've brought all that I have. Look. The painting. I want you to look carefully at this painting. Tell me all the assumptions that come to mind. So she was... What am I supposed to find? Tell me... Tell me if this is the work of madness. Yep. Or if, on the contrary, you manage to detect some logic, a rationality to follow so that I may understand it. Is that all you want from me? Yes, please. All right. I'll look at your picture. Uh -huh. That's all you've got? The painting? I placed a file on your desk. It contains everything I have on the affair. Your notebooks details your current objective. To open it, press J for journal. Okay, I want to check the, the painting now. What's the symbol on the man's chest? It's as if Sarah Hawkins breathed a message into it. Hmm. What about the file? A warehouse on Darkwater. Some sketches of the Hawkins family. Is she being labeled? Some of it's, it's unreadable, but I can make out part of the addresses. Uh, warehouse 36, Darkwater. The police report. It says that the fire started in the dining room and claimed the whole family. The police decide on a domestic accident, but they nevertheless insist on Sarah Hawkins' mental frailty. Why? A press cutting. An article written about the marriage of Sarah and Charles Hawkins, a businessman from the island of Darkwater. They live a recluse life there with their only son, Simon. Hmm. So, Mr. Pierce, what do you make of these elements? Okay, so we have to choose. Uh, you shouldn't take this painting lightly. I read about her mental fragility in the police reports. Something's not right with this story. Investigation expert. So maybe because we find about warehouse exclamation mark. I wonder what this means. Maybe maybe this means like the main objective. But first I wanna go through all the dialogues, all the options, you know? Where did Sarah Hawkins live? Darkwater. Never heard of the place. Where is that? It's a small remote island off the coast of Boston. Sarah lived there with her son and her husband. I suppose you want to ship me off there. Darkwater holds the secret regarding my daughter, Mr. Pierce. You must uncover it. Okay. 
Uh, let me go with this. Her husband was a big deal on the island. But the police Detective mine, guys. We had to piece together Though they mentioned the puzzle. mental state was fragile. I believe you are right, sir. This case is not as simple as it appears. I am aware of that. I believe there is more to this case than just an accident. Hmm. You must tell me if what the police suggest about the mental state of your daughter is true. No. Sarah had visions. Everyone mm, knew this that. inspiration. She never would have heard a fly. She only thought she saw things. Saw things? What do you mean by that? Was she doing drugs? I never knew what she meant by that. My daughter was an enigmatic figure, Mr. Pierce. You must find out the truth about her life and death. Okay, what about this? The meaning could be exactly as it appears. I think your daughter is sending you a message. That's what I believe, too. It was three months ago that I received the call from the police telling me of my daughter's death. And yet a short while after, this painting was delivered to my home. After? The painting is linked to this case, can't you see? You must find the meaning behind all this. Oh. The sender's label mentions Warehouse 36. That's right. It came with Sarah's last painting. Oh. And you think your daughter could have been the sender? That is what you must find out. Go to Darkwater. Find Warehouse 36. Let's do it. I think I'm beginning to understand. I'm willing to do anything for my daughter to recover her honor. Quiet down. I'm on your side. Oh, let's go to Darkwater. An artist dies with her family in a house fire. Your only clue is a sort of... Now, why will she send him... Dark water right before her death. Correct. And the rumors about her supposed folly. Which you don't totally deny. Find that warehouse. Find out the truth regarding Sarah Hawkins' death. You'll be handsomely compensated. Yeah. Maybe this, right. is, this is the case we needed. I'll go to Darkwater. To haul our job. To the death of your daughter. Oh, let's go. Thank you, Mr. Pierce. I didn't expect any less coming from a man in your situation. <laughs> Do you know Something's about... Something's queer. But it's not like I have a choice. Do you know about my desperation? Dark water. I think I've got a book on the North Atlantic. I'll no doubt find some information on this island in there. The Learning of Medicine, Volume 1. Ooh. Oh, you get, you get uh, skill points by finding items like that. That's cool. Oh, what is this? I wonder why I still take these things. Living pills. Their fixes were wearing off. Oh, we got the... Yeah, is there anything else? Some games have like a drink option, so maybe... Right, let's see. Where can I find natural sciences, linguistics? Oh, Dark water is off the coast of Boston, but I've never heard of it. According to this book, it was often mentioned during whale hunting times at the end of the 19th century. Mm. But it seems to have been shunned since then. Moby Dick. Dark water. Whale hunters. All I have to do is go to the port. I just hope that I can find a boat able to take me to dark water. Let's go. Okay, good intro, good intro, I like it. Chapter 2, Dark Water Port. Pierce took the Hawkins case. The cursed artist is accused of having caused the fire that killed her and her family. As the only clue, she left her father a disturbing painting on the shipping label and address. A warehouse set on the docks of the island of Darkwater. The place seems to be starting point for Pierce's investigation. <gasps> Let's get it. Like I said, this... Without spoiling too much, this feels very inspired by the shadow over Innsmouth. This first section. It has some reminiscence of the book Call of Cthulhu, but it's not exactly the same plot. So, 
Okay. James Fitzroy. Is the captain? Hi, captain. Oh! Here we go. I like this. I like anything like Scylla. Legendary monster. I the boat. Anything that has like a slow start and then builds up, I love that. Stay on board. There's guys coming to unload. Welcome to Darkwater Island, Mr. Pierce. Why, thank you, Captain Fitzroy. Very so, <coughs> cozy. You? Does the Hawkins case mean anything to you? Uh, a sad story that we would all prefer to forget. Charles Hawkins may have been a landlubber, but he was a good man. Hmm. And his wife, Sarah Hawkins. A uh, nice young woman and a great painter. What a tragedy. Still hunting well. You know what? Go have a drink at the Stranded Whale. What you need is a good pick-me-up. Mitchell may not be very welcoming, but his bar holds a surprise for you. As for me, you'll find me at the Harbor Master's office. Such a pretty town, right? If it's the Hawkins family that brings you here, the classic I have fisherman a pile town. Of documents that should interest you. Understood. Smells like. I'm going for a look around the docks. See, a putrid fish. <laughs> yeah. Main objectives: talk to Fitzroy, go to the bar, talk to Bradley. Let's check on the people here. No? Officer Bradley. Oh, I had to talk to this guy. Can't you go any faster? Yo. The blood is just beginning to coagulate. It died a short time ago. Only a specialist would know what killed it. I was not you guys Don't hunting put it. That beast back in the water, you shysters! You're crazy. You're crazy, we cops. They can't understand. Damn stupid idiots! Forget it. Nobody listens to us anyway. Hello. The same goes for you, sir. Move along. Uh, to the other sailors get upset for nothing. Let's not, let's go straight for the point. I'm looking for this address. Warehouse 36. Dark water. He's an Harbor. officer of the law. Ah. And so who are you? I didn't introduce myself. Edward Pierce, private detective. In any case, it's not very important. I can't answer that. You can't? Or you don't want to? Oh, no, no. I'm not getting into those games, me. Now, please, allow me to do my job. You can't don't put that Come on, tell me something, man. Are you shysters? You're crazy. They're cops. They can't understand. Hmm. It is a good idea to introduce yourself as a private detective. People might be like, I'm not gonna talk to this guy, you know? What is this? Prohibition is just a joke around here. Prohibition? That suits me fine. Oh, is this when they prohibit uh, drinking alcohol and stuff? I think so. So Fitzroy said it was gonna be on the harbor master. Let's go to the stranded well. Can we talk to people and stuff? Nice. Let's go here. 
Let's uh, meet the locals. Hey, yo, ho, ho. Hmm. Oh. Hey, be careful. He ain't taking shit. Oh. Who this woman? Let's get him another drink. He's dry. In my bar, we don't serve troublemakers. What do you mean, troublemakers? Oh, I can't use uh, the guiding show respect. I can use like the strength option, or we can do dialects. Hold to test eloquence, so it's not guaranteed. It's like a r dice roll. Come on, I want to gamble. I, I just say it was like we're just friends. I don't have time for all this bravado. Okay, that's a bit. Don't much. be so high and mighty, sir. We don't like mainland snobs. I'm here for information, not for a fight. I prefer it that way. Speak then. I reserve the right to answer or not. I'm looking for a warehouse. Bit too, too, too direct. No? Uh, no prohibition around here. I didn't expect to find alcohol on this island. What's the source of this miracle? You mean who? <laughs> Our source of supply wouldn't like me to betray them to the first comer. I'll tell nobody. She'd know it anyway. Oh, you reveal the woman. Silly, silly goose. Uh, fun about that water. <laughs> Order a drink? Nah. Fun about Sarah. Why the stranded whale? The stranded whale. A little bit of a small talk, you know. Too. I guess this bar has been here a long time. What can I tell you? We're building I'm some a nostalgic rapport. sort of guy. The name, it reminds us of the golden age of dock water. Mm. When our whalers left for long months and came back sweating and stinking of the oil and flesh of the whales they'd been hunting. It was a tough Lovely. time, all the same. Ah, but steeped in glory. We've never known such wealth since then. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, this is a bit suspicious, but... What can you tell me about it? We all knew she was famous on the mainland for her paintings. We didn't like it here. understood why. <laughs> then, I don't want to speak ill of the dead. You seem very versed on the on, on the art, sir. Uh, oh, this is different. It's not speaking ill if it's true. It's true that the word is strange. Enough said about Sarah. No, no, no. Let's, uh, let's go. Let's her go. vision. Let's dig. Was Be it deeper. so terrible? The way I see it. The truth is really a question of point of view. What do you mean by that? Do you still trust the truth after a bottle of whiskey? I see your point. Hmm. I've got what I need. Anything else? Um, b -b 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 let's go for... We're looking for the warehouse. Do you know where this place is? Warehouse 36, Darkwater Harbor. The Hawkins Warehouse. Oh. I see. Yeah. That's theirs. If I were you, I wouldn't hang around there. Why not? First off, there are rumors. Sailors from around here say you can hear noises coming from the warehouse at night. Hmm? Screams, that sort of thing. Screams? And that's not all. There's the fate of its owners and all the superstitions that go with it. But I'll say no more. Anything okay. else? That's more than we knew before, no? That'll be all for now. Thank you, sir. So that's that belongs to the Hawkins, and there are noises coming from it. And then he said, "You have no right to treat us like this." And the doctor, what did he say? The chant, the miraculous catch. Apparently, the most significant event of the last eighty years. Are these real stories from like sailors and stuff? 1847 newspaper. Two cents. <laughs> so it's still a story. Catching like a massive whale, no? Hmm. Speak. 
special evening. Uh huh? I like it. What's up, boys? Do you like our song? I love it. <laughs> We're true sirens. <laughs> We may not be pros, but we give it all we've got. Hey, that's what counts. That's true. It's a reminder of the time when we were still fishing for whales off Darkwater Island. The end of whaling. What is this song? What brought whaling to an end? The whales, of course. They all disappeared. Oh. You exhausted the stocks. You could say that, yes. There were fewer and fewer of them. Until the last... The biggest. The one of the miraculous catch. <laughs> exactly. So that was the last one? I bid you farewell. That's crazy, no? Good night, stranger. Stranger. So long. Yeah. Let's talk to this mysterious woman here in the corner. Is there anything else? Nope. What you looking at, stranger? Looking at you, lady. What is a woman like you doing in a place like this? Nothing at all. She she can certainly put them away. Uh, uh, the clientele is predominantly male. Tell me something I don't know. I meant nothing by it. I'm just wondering what a woman like you is doing in this flea trap. And I'm wondering what could be going through the head of the chump who goes to disturb her. Let me drink, Ooh. stranger. Sorry, we started on the wrong foot over here. Let's, uh... I told you to beat it. Okay, never mind. We cannot talk anymore. She... I fucked up. You can talk to her if you choose something different, but she's not taking any shit from me, you know? So... Let's go to Fitzroy. Remember you did... You, oh, can I take this lump? I got excited. Uh, maybe you need like a different skill or something. Do I have any... Any skill points? What? Just one. We got the uh, new characters here descriptions. I'm just gonna put it on the screen so you guys can read it if you are interested. Mm hmm Same with the places. Island of Darkwater. Darkwater Port. And the Stranded Well. Anything from the occult? The painting. Catch any clues? Why is this a clue? I don't know. These are all the stuff we are collecting along the way. Inventory knowledge. Uh, this is just this, the, the items we, we use. Inspect. Well, let's go. Is there anything around here? Oh, hello there. I want to shake around first. I wonder what Captain Fitzroy has got to say about this. Writing a letter. Hand. Captain, the terms of our agreement are clear. Keep your men under control. You cannot afford to provoke us. No need to answer this message. Just make your payment to the carrier. Cat. Cat. Broken. This place seems half abandoned. Fishing equipment. <laughs> Could do with some rust remover. Hmm. A toilet. This blackboard hasn't been used in a long while. A scylla. It finished up beached at the entrance to the harbor. Anything else interesting around? I'm just exploring this whole guy's place without permission. Error Medicine Volume 2. Let's go.
Imagine all the sailors' uh, legends and story when on the high seas, you know? Bless our poon. This man and Fitzroy could be twins. It looks like him, kind of. How old is this picture? Kind of. What a macabre souvenir. Oh, is that a, like, goon leg? <laughs> like a true pirate. Oh, let's go talk to him. I brought out the Charles Hawkins cargo manifests. They're on the table next to you. But in truth, you're likely to be disappointed. When you're done, come join me on the deck. Okay. These manifests are signed by Charles Hawkins. But that's all I'll get from them. Only a few dates are still eligible. 1890, 1907, and a partial date. The rest of the document is blacked out. Who, who will want this information to be hidden? Manifest. Oh, you just vanish. You just like that. <laughs> yeah, let's talk to this guy on the deck. Uh, sure. From here, I see everything that goes on in the harbor. The hard-working lives of my sailors, the fights of the stranded whale, even the antics of these wharf rats don't escape me. It's you who lays down the law around here. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. I'm just the last serving captain on dark water. Tell me what I can do to help you. Some info, you know? Talk about the water. Your documents are unreadable. <laughs> Did you black them out? Uh, Your manifests have been blacked out. They're totally unreadable. Yeah, I saw that. I've got no idea who did it or why. I don't remember having countersigned Seuss. anything special enough for someone to hide it. And why it obliterate seem. the dates as well as the goods stored in the warehouse? You mean that the dates have some meaning? What did Charles Hawkins really do for a living? You tell me. Some meaning. You tell me. I don't know. It's not my signature next to that of Charles Hawkins. Yours. I'm at sea for more than half the year. Anyone could have done it during my absence. What seems really important to me is that the dates on these manifests indicate that Charles probably had other contracts. But not with you, though. Hmm... This photograph. Also, the items you find, you can also talk to them about them. And you only unlock them if you... If you find them first. The Miraculous Catch. Is it a local legend? Not at all. It really happened. It's an episode from our glorious past. Go read the story of the sailors' return to Darkwater Harbor. It's displayed on a wall of the Stranded Way. I already did. I saw the killer whale on the wharf. I'm just back from the wharves. The dead killer whale is unsettling the sailors. Ah, yes. Us men of the sea are superstitious folk. What will have killed it? Killer whales don't have many known predators. That's true. And normally, they're not found around here. But, um... Oh, there's a killer whale. You're gonna take me for a fool. Give it a try. Have you heard about the depths? Trenches that plunge into the earth and that shelter creatures unlike any other. You're talking about mythology. Ha, <laughs> indeed, you're right. Hmm. I was looking at your photograph. The one of the man in front of the boat. Ah, yes, I can see the one you're talking about. Interesting resemblance. I thought it was you but with a wooden leg. And for good reason. That's my father in the photograph. Mm. Your father? John Fitzroy, captain of the Silla. Oh. His wooden leg is here. You can go and see it if you're <laughs> Already interested. Already did. Who is Cat? The one from the note. I found a threatening letter signed by a certain Cat. Yar. What? I don't mind you Here's visiting my, my harbor master's office. But I'd prefer if you didn't go so, through my affairs. It's read all your... Are you being blackmailed? Not exactly, no. That shyster wants to make us pay protection money. With any success? I wouldn't say that. But she terrifies my men as much as her own. 
Can you not do anything to stop her? Don't you worry about that. Okay, let's talk about the warehouse. I'm looking for warehouse 36. Do you know where it where is? Where is it? Give Look, me the address. Right there. The warehouse is opposite the gym. Oh. You can't miss it. Well, let's go there. Understood. You know who the building belongs to, don't you? Yep. Lie, I have no idea. It belonged to Hawkins family. Do you underestimate me? Do you underestimate my power? Is this a game for you? <laughs> That's funny. So you can lie. Is it good to lie to this guy? Should we be honest with him? Is this guy on our side or not? That's that's the thing I don't know, you know? We could be also completely honest. Or we can just let's go with this. It belonged to the Hawkins family. Precisely. Ship owners from father to son. I think that somebody here wanted me to search this warehouse. Hmm. Ah, see ya. I shall be on my way. So come back and see me when you've got something new. I will. And we got one character point, one CP. New objective, get inside warehouse. I'm gonna search around the docks. A little bit of an investigation, detective. Hmm. Oh. Oh, we can lockpick because we upgraded the, the skill. <gasps> Otherwise, we there. cannot open this. That's crazy, no? Find hidden items. Spot hidden skill allows you to detect hidden items. Oh. We have a lighter. Hello, old friend. Look, <laughs> bro. This guy is breaking into warehouse. Wait, oh, there's a question mark. Wait, but that means I don't think I have enough points to get that. Yeah, maybe we need more. I think there is something else here, but cannot really detect it without the skill. Can you see that icon on the bottom left with the question mark? I think. That means if we had enough points, I lose this. What the freak is this? Occultism. Saint Brendan, patron saint of sailors and travelers. Desecrated. I can't even say which language it's written in. Mm. Okay, let's go to the warehouse. The patron of the sailors. What's up, boys? Oh, we can talk to this guy. You live here. Why did you do that, huh? This guy is we wasted. We saw what you did to St. Brendan. Me? I just arrived. Yeah, we'll teach you to come onto our island and ridicule our protectors. I never have done such a thing. Who is St. Brendan? I just arrived, you fool. <laughs> I respect your beliefs. Our beliefs? You mean you don't believe in God? That's irrelevant. <laughs> That's what you think. There's you, our beloved statue, and then those two bozos behind us. Wait, now that I think about it, it's got to be them. <laughs> There's one of them who's always going back. So this is how it feels to, to go the to the UK, guys. Quieter. That's all we need for them to hear us. What brings you to dark water? Hmm. Let's divert. The two guys behind you. What are they guarding? The bootleggers. Scum. They're protecting their territory. From whom, I wonder? They really don't have a choice anyway. They're more scared of Cat than an Ooh, attack by drunken sailors. Cat. If only they would kill each other. <laughs> who is Cat? Ooh. Is it Cat who's shaking down Captain Fitzroy? Oh, hold on, hold on just a minute. We didn't tell you a Too thing. late. Nothing at all. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm, I'll send that. This is where you leave and it work. Eh. I've taken enough of your time. We'll see you later. Wait, is this the warehouse? This is a... Uh, an officer? Hello? Where do you think you're going? Officer Andrews. Uh, others are interested in the warehouse. I must go into this warehouse. 
what are police doing here? I thought that the Hawkins case had been closed. That's true. So what are you doing on guard duty in front of this warehouse? <laughs> Who's asking the questions here, the cop or the tourist? Hmm, but I'm a detective, man. His father counted me. What do you know about the Hawkins case? What more can you say about the death of the Hawkins family? Not much more than what everyone knows. I wasn't on the case. They were all burnt to death, right? Up at their place. The whole mansion went up in flames. Don't get it into your head to go wandering around up there. It's dangerous. What do you mean by that? The only one left there is old Silas. And the accident has affected him badly. He can be unpredictable. Especially if a stranger starts poking around the property. Is he a danger to the public? No, he's in his own home. Do yourself a favor. Leave him well alone. I need to get inside, mate. You again. I told you to beat it. <laughs> no <laughs> need to get worked up. So you can only go through certain dialogues before they get tired of talking to you. Because now they didn't go through the other dialogue that I wanted to check, so... I cannot do it anymore. So yeah, you need to be careful with what you pick. Is there anything here? Gets out, I'll have serious problems with you know who. I bet that you hit them. How could you be dumb enough to leave oh, the entrance fine. to the warehouses unguarded? Keep your voice down. Why not go and shout at the cat while you're at it? I don't want to end up with her little knife under my throat. It's a stiletto, you idiot. And with that smell on your breath, I don't give you much chance anyway. Hmm. Stiletto. So that means it's that woman at the bottom. Not in the ground. Let's No idea. Then you better keep it shut. What's with you wandering around? Maybe we can like get something from dog. them. We saw you talking to the two soaks. Go die of thirst, the lot of you. It'll stink less. Hmm, investigator activities. Cat sent me. This passage, this passage leads to the Hawkins warehouse. Let's talk to them first. Who does this belong to? Is it you who defaced the statue? Would you work for Cat? So, so who are you? Are you stupid you? or are you doing it on purpose? Everybody knows us on Darkwater. I've just arrived. <laughs> Let's just say we're standing guard for the owner of the site. And we let no one enter her property. Hmm. Cat, she's your boss. What? You listen through keyholes. She's the boss, yeah. She says who goes in or not. Shut up, you dummy. <laughs> You wanted to know that you also talk too much. She must be quite intimidating if she can make two men like you tremble. <laughs> she redid the smile at the last one who wanted to get in. I hope you had a good dentist. No, no, you don't understand. Oh. She really cut him a new smile. But he only smiles with the left cheek. <laughs> the Joker. Damn. Okay, you're really scared of this. Uh, what about... Mm. I've got to enter the Hawkins warehouse. I guess it's going to be complicated. No, it's very simple, in fact. Fuck off. <laughs> I don't give a damn about your racket. I just want to get into this warehouse. And we don't give a damn about you. Whatever your reason for wanting inside, there's nothing we can do for you. Let's try it. I've got to get inside. It's your boss I mean. who sent me. Oh, yeah? And why didn't she say anything to us? She sent me to see who's filching her stock. I don't know what you're talking about. You got no proof to back up your claims, and I'd advise you against snitching. Oh, I didn't If work. I can't get rid of those two, I'll have to look for another way. Fuck's sake. What do we do, guys? They are. Okay. Well, well, look who's back. Did you miss us? Yes. <laughs> These guys are funny. Get rid of the two guards. I have an offer that could interest you. We're listening. Oh. I need you to keep them busy for a while. You send us to take the punishment while you go quietly about your business. What's in it for us? 
What would convince Can you I give help? them the battle I There's found before? There's only one thing that'll get us to move. For sure. Bring us something to drink and we'll yeah, take the, care of the, the battle we got beggars. before, no? Exactly. I got a battle on me. Look what I've got. Let's go. Lock picking pays guy, out. You? Okay. So now they're gonna dist gonna distract these two guys. <clears throat> Cheers, you jackass. I don't feel well. Hey, where are you going? Say that again. <laughs> oh shit. I hope for your sake that I didn't hear. No, no, it's not what you think. Yeah, now we can go. I wanna see what happens actually. This guy's hiding behind the barrel. You helped yourself to my stuff. Yeah, they use stalking. Oh, let's go, let's go, let's go. Is there anything else around here? That's broken. Oh, maybe we can move this. We did it. Let's see. Perfect. Oh, this place stinks. What the hell? What is the connection between this place and the Sarah Hawkins case? Reconstruction to enter a reconstruction scene hold. Left click and right click. Oh. Ooh. Another painting. No. What? Is someone living here or something? Ooh. Let's do it. Sherlock home times. What happened here? Smash the mirror and they were bleeding. What else? Le Petit Parisian. Who might keep a news clipping about Sarah Hawkins? Oh, it's slipping. Can't pants. sleep. I know how that feels. What is that? These painkillers were prescribed three months ago. Someone has been taking them since the time of the Hawkins' death. What is this picture of Charles and Sarah Hawkins doing here? Is this one of Sarah Hawkins' paintings? Hmm. See how everything you interact with needs a different skill to actually understand what it means. That's crazy, no? Hopkins, well. So what do we do with all that info? Should we go back to Fitzroy and talk to him about what we found? Hmm. Uh, someone has settled in uh -oh. here. Uh-oh. And whoever it is has something to tell me about the Hawkins case. Is there anyone in there? Cut. Yo, don't move. Detective Pierce, I told you to stay away from this warehouse. I got lost, man. Threaten the police officer. Nah. Let's team up. <laughs> Someone else is interested in Hawkins. The case is far from bringing good up. Wound up? You mean messed up? Oh, God. No. We don't take no lessons from the likes of you. We do our job carefully. And fairly. No stone was left unturned. Hmm. Really? Can you explain what this painting is doing here? This strange portrait. Wait, I know it. It was in the Hawkins mansion when we came to investigate the fire. So you confirm that it was removed from the crime scene? Interesting. I'd like to go and see the mansion now. Of course. You want to go back along his trail? Surprise is saying yes. I'd like to understand how this painting made it to here. Come on. My car is parked. Oh, let's go. We are collab collaborating with the police now. Andrews, would you please shut the door? Nice. Hey. Now open your eyes, damn it. This guy went right on. At the least they're not uh, obstructing me. God damn it. Her oh. again. 
This case has nothing to do with you, Baker. Clear the passage or I'll shut you up for obstruction. Officer Bradley, you've finally grown a pair. Too bad you're too fat to see them down there. Jeez. Why you? Come on, keep the smile. You don't want to force me to widen it. Okay, I get Damn. It. Can we go to the mansion now? Who the hell are you? What were you doing on my turf? I've got my eye on you. We'll meet again. She's brutal. Is it far, this mansion? Look behind you, at the top of the ridge. You see the building? Yeah, the animation suck. That's the Hawkins mansion. Come Ooh. on, we got some driving to do. What a mansion. Oh yeah, chapter three. Garden of the Hawkins Mansion. Uh, you can consider this game like an in, like a even is it even like a double A game? It's not like a super high budget, you know. So the team who made this are not the best at certain aspects. But I think in a game like this, the most important aspect is the narrative and the like the horror aspect of uh, of it all. Like sure. If it looks bad or whatever, sure, you can improve it and make it better. But at the end of the day, it's like a, it's something secondary. So I, I, they put more effort in, in the Lovecraftian feeling, I'll say. So I appreciate that. Uh, Pierce managed to get into the warehouse. The place thought to be abandoned revealed some surprises. Signs of recent occupations as well as a partly sharp painting interrupted in his searching by Officer Bradley, Pierce convinced him to join his investigation. The police officer is willing to drive the detective to the Hawkins mansion. Let's go. Wait, so you mean you say you already played this, no? Or you already watched this game? Like, do you know everything? You have seen it all? Oh, the board game. So oh, no, okay, okay. Oh. Sound is observing us. It's different, yeah. Well, here we are, Hawkins Mansion. The place has been abandoned since the fire. There's only old Winchester in his hut. Huh. Uh do you know the place very well? The place is falling into ruins. I thought the mansion burning a fire. You're not the first to talk about Winchester. Hmm. Is that Silas, no? Anything I should be wary of. Let's not waste any time. Okay, let's... You're the one who looked after the Hawkins case. Don't think I was trying to hide it. It's just that this discovery shakes my convictions. That's why you're so keen to find out who removed the painting from the mansion. Yes. If something escaped us, or if there's been a law enforcement error, then it's up to the police to make good its mistake. Anything else? I don't believe the fire is the only reason this house is in such a state. It's a very old building, you know? Its foundations would probably date from the arrival of the first settlers. Huh. It's really that old. Come on, let's leave the stories of the dead alone. It's nothing to do with your case anyhow. Yeah, let's okay. go up there. Unless you still have questions. Wait, what about the other dialogue? Yeah, yes. Uh, I, I see there. no scorched trees or fire damage on the building. You're pretty damn observant, ain't you? The fire my job. is perfectly contained. Old Silas acted as soon as he could. Not soon enough to save the Hawkins. They were trapped in the drawing room. And don't go troubling Silas anymore. His guilt torments him enough as it is. Hmm. Are we going to take a closer look at this mansion, or do you have questions? Uh, let's go, questions? let's go. Okay. I prefer to be prepared if it's going okay, to be... Okay, this is important. S safety. Wise attitude. But apart from old Silas and some rotten floorboards, there's nothing to worry about. Yeah, okay, yeah. You're talking about Winchester. 
That's right. The Hawkins old caretaker. Strictly speaking, he ain't dangerous. But since the tragedy, he's been a little touched. There's no way to hurt Though, before. He's a remarkably sturdy man, given oh. his age. A true force of nature. A sad old man doesn't worry me. Gee, if you don't want to <laughs> listen to my advice, we might as well go. Don't be rude, peace. Right, let's go. Night falls quickly here. And I want to be able to see when we arrive. I'll go with you. If only to reassure Silas. Okay. Uh, sure. Why not? You can help. Right. Let's go. Let's do it. To the mansion. What a creepy entrance. What is this? Nice statue. Bradley was right. This place is 1693. much older than I imagined. But the architecture seems too recent. Ooh. Interesting. This is the graves. Not the crows. Sarah Hawkins. The flowers on Sarah Hawkins' grave are fresh. Maybe Silas is. Why are these all broken? Charles. Someone must really hate Charles Hawkins. I told you. Silas Winchester is still watching over the Hawkins family. Uh, while while will he break? It's pretty gloomy. So, detective, does this place inspire any thoughts? Someone desecrated one of the graves. Do you know if Charles Hawkins had any enemies? Not to our knowledge. He was a well-respected personality on the island. I don't understand. Silas would never have let such a thing happen. Hmm. Let's go to the mansion. That's weird. Maybe he had some enemies. I didn't expect to set foot back here. Ever. Poor kid. What kind of deranged individual would defile this sanctuary and steal a burnt painting? I don't see Silas doing such a thing, let alone allowing it. Even that fraud baker loved that. How do you get to the mansion? Go here? Yeah, is the cop coming with me? Because Silas is gonna. Be around, no? Hello? I'll have to find another entrance. There's some back door. But Bradley is not coming. Oh, there's another door there. This entrance is still in use. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. You are trying to force the door, you nosy prick. Easy, sir. All right. Put down the axe. You know what we do with rubble like you? We gut them. Dump them into the ocean. Whoa. Uh. Uh. Bradley, help me. You're Mr. Winchester. Lower that axe. And let's talk calmly. <laughs> yeah, they were. I'll show you how we have it out on dark water. Drop his axe. Oh, there's a time. Uh, work for Stephen. Who's this guy? Oh, yeah. Sarah Hawkins' father. father sent me here to investigate the death of his daughter. Webster, huh? I understand how he feels. But me? I want the dead to rest in peace. And that means kicking the ass of gumshoes like you. Why would you not want me to help understand what happened here? I've got nothing to hide. Tell me what you're doing here. And no baloney. Yeah. The police report describes a domestic accident. But Stephen Webster has several reasons to believe that this may not be the case. 
Webster is as stubborn as an old mule. Says you. And I did tell him that we should let the dead rest in peace. <laughs> he wants to restore the reputation of his daughter. I just need to see where the fire started. The mansion isn't safe. You would break your neck as sure as you're trying my patience right now. That's why you barricaded the entrance. That's right. And this I can door, handle this. It's locked. And I make sure it stays that way. Uh, you want to get rid of me? You shouldn't really need this key. Wait, what is this? Mean? No one lives in the mansion, and you don't take care of it anymore. Okay. If you have a good reason to be here, I'm listening. There's vermin. I keep an eye out. Vermin. Yeah, that's it. Vermin. Rolling right. for speech. This is what we're going to do. I go inside, and I promise that I'll hunt vermin. Okay with you? Mm, I'm not sure. If there's nothing else to fear, you can give me that key. <sighs> right. Okay. Take the key and do what you have speech to Speech 100. Go on, then. Just to get rid of you. Let's see what more I can learn from this <laughs> mansion. Yeah, okay, well, you got the key. We convinced them. Oh, look at that lighthouse. And you can you can see the the dock from up here. Let's go. Oh, let's go. Oh, oh he's here now. Piers, shall we enter? E. Let's go. Let's take a look inside. I'm with you. Chapter three. Hawkins Mansion. Pierce and Officer Bradley explore the gardens of the Hawkins Mansion. The family lies in the graveyard of the property, guarded by Silas Winchester, the old caretaker. Still faithful to his employers, employers keeps watch on the place, armed with his axe. Pierce and Bradley managed to calm him down. Pierce and Bradley, that was me alone. <laughs> managed to calm him down, finally get hold of the key to the Hawkins Mansion. They enter the building looking for the scene of the fire. Follow me. I know the place. Who left this light on? Uh, nice dining room. Oh. The last supper of the Hawkins. You, what is that? What does this is that sweet freaking dead rats? Oh. Reconstruction time, guys. Sarah Hawkins and Little Simon. The perfect picture of the middle class family. Okay, let's do the reconstruction time. Okay, what happened here? This is where they started the fire. What the fuck is this? What kind of meat is this? This place is for the head of the family, Charles Hawkins. Did he get mad or something? Chair fell. Having a discussion. Why? Well, did he push the chair into the fire, maybe? Hmm. What else are we investigating? Oh. The boy was probably here. Smashed his plate on the floor. Oh. And Sarah was here. Sarah Hawkins didn't eat. Was it because of the meat or something else? Her plate is full. Something happened at this table. An argument? Hmm. Hey, Pierce. Daydreaming again? <laughs> Working, officer. This dinner table tells us a lot about the Hawkins family life. Well, we don't have all day. The scene of the fire is next door. See, that's how the detective puts all the pieces together, guys.
Silas managed to bring the fire under control. But it was already too late. For they seem happy. Sorry. <laughs> but Charles is already looking off into the future. His marriage just to stop along the way. Maybe you're reaching too far, you know? What is this? It was Charles Hawkins some kind of explorer? Oh, a pizza. It's a pizza. Too much rubble. I'll find an easier way. Okay, so this is where the fire happened. Oh, shit. Let's see if I can find something the cops missed. Maybe it's best to get before going into the reconstruction, but I think you can... I don't think you can find anything before you do. Yeah. What does this room tell you guys? This room tells a story. Can you reconstruct the events that occur here? Let's do it. Is that a candle? They had a fight. I smashed oil. Lamp. Why? Why? Someone was laying here. The child's corpse left a trace. Where are the others? Oh. Only one. Oh. Was Charles Hawkins a heavy drinker? Well, maybe he was drunk when they fought. Damn. Ooh, what the fuck is that? Did someone escape the fire? Scratches on the door. After the fire, because they're. Look burned. A shoe from Sarah. Did Sarah Hawkins lose one of her shoes? How? Domestic abuse? Interesting. Did it stop at the time of the fire? Any other clues? But there is no other marks of other bodies resting here. Why? Oh, the painting was here. If the painting I found on the docks really came from here, how come it didn't burn? The painting was on this room and it didn't burn. So they took it. Blood. This lamp was thrown. This was no accident. Oh, this was a fight. But it's Sarah Baron Charles or someone fell here. Maybe he he had He's burned. A desperate attempt to flee. We had attack her and then she retaliated with the fire. The toy. So, detective, what do you make of it? It's official. The police botched this investigation. The clues don't match. The fire wasn't just an accident. All three are true, you know? I'm not gonna go, like, blame it immediately, but... I'm gonna say the clues don't match. Much of this evidence simply contradicts the investigation's findings. Really? Tell me about it. Uh, someone had too much to drink. The bodies were displaced. Someone escaped the fire. The fire was caused by the land. The fire was just an accident. The time of the fire doesn't match. No. I wonder, should I go first with these normal ones and then go to the unlocked ones? I'm not sure. I want to like, I wanted to go through as many as I can. I firmly believe this fire was more than just an accident. Huh. What's your theory? The couple had a fight. This is our son. This is a crime of passion. Let's go with a fight. I think the Hawkins couple got into a fight. You sure of that? There's only one way to be sure. You see, I cannot do any more dialogues. They all... I mean, they all go to the same way, but... They all seem interesting. Alright, let's keep investigating. 
I just ask that you don't disturb anything. Okay. If Chief West found out about what we're doing, I'd be in serious trouble. Hmm, where are we going now? History of medicine in the 18th century. Yes. More books. Oh. oh, more bandages. These bandages are covered in dried blood. The same bandages that I saw in the warehouse on the docks. And given the blood stains, I'd also say that it's the same person. Okay. That is relevant. This door is blocked from the outside. The lyrics of the drunken sailor, the sea shanty. He's an upstairs. Now let's follow the. Let's follow this guy. An original edition of Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, dated 1818. Holy! That's the biggest painting. Nice room here. No, it's a big, uh, massive library. Let's see what we find. Piano. This piano is in disrepair. Looks like the Hawkins kept it more for decoration than for music. Moby Dick. Hmm. Moby Dick, Melville's classic. The epic battle between man and whale. <laughs> Mandatory reading for any whaler, I guess. True. Like what I love about these games is if they make you curious about the original works, you may start uh, reading, you know? So that's good. A book on the first inhabitants of the island. It seems they got here around the 14th century. Human body, a comparative analysis. More medicine. We're getting more points and stuff, more upgrades. What's up here? Oh, nice. <laughs> so many books. Uh, Greek mythology. Hecate, goddess of the dead, daughter of Tartarus, and mother of Scylla. Dark water history. This place was settled back in 1692. By two families that seceded from the New England colonies. A book on hunting whales, the island's staple diet last century. Oh, what the hell is this? One of Sarah Hawkins' paintings. Her style sure is recognizable. Twenty thousand leagues under the sea. Another story about the mysteries of the deep. Jules Verne is nice. Oh, a crowbar. A crowbar. Okay. Could prove useful. And this is why we are exploring everything, guys. This is why. <laughs> Let me see what else we have around. How many points do we have? We have seven points. What should we get? Eloquence is good, no? Or unlocking more dialogues. Psychology is also very interesting. Let's get that and then three points. Also, these two you can only upgrade them by uh, by like finding objects around the game. I see. Cannot get anything yet, so let's just keep these points for now. We got one more eloquence uh, point. We got these guys. This guy and this guy. One more place. This. 
they have like a little description next to them so might as well put it there the scene of the fire he and the crowbar yeah. this is the other room we came from anything around here what could Sarah have done to make this person threaten to call the police? A letter of complaint. Dear sir, as you know, I have always held you and your family in high respect. Unfortunately, I can no longer continue to close my eyes on the behavior of your wife. Last week, she again terrified my clientele. I know that she means no harm, but you should place her in the care of Dr. Fuller. He alone seems, seems able to make her come to her senses. If these disturbances were to recur, I believe me, although it will feel like torture, I will be obliged to involve the police. Respectfully yours, Anton Willard. Ooh, what is she doing? Let's see. Maybe... The thunder. Have you ever guys seen, like, paintings from, like, Painters that were a bit uh, not in the right mind, like the ones, the dark paintings of Goya. Locked. They are. There's something to witness. <gasps> Look at that! The key that opens the door to Sarah Hawkins' office was concealed. Got it. You got it, guys. Oh, this is the son's uh, room. The boy's room. Reconstruction. He had a fort. Sleeping pills. The kid as well. What the fuck? Nah, bro. What are these drawings? Drawing trippy shit, Slenderman! A child's fort. Was he scared of something? What threat was Simon protecting his world? Oh. Tom Sawyer. Mark Twain. Sarah must have read it to him before bed. Mark Twain is one of my favorite writers. Sleeping pills. Strong for an 11-year-old boy. What was wrong with this family? What nightmarish vision could have inspired them? Simon's troubles went beyond family problems. That kid saw something. Something terrified him. Step by step, we're putting another piece of the puzzle in the big picture. Wait, can I go in here with a key? Oh shit, Sarah's office. What the fuck? Hey, yo! She had a summoning ritual. What the hell is this? Any comments? Was Sarah Hawkins interested in the occult? I mean, trying to achieve ceremonial circle. Oh, this ledger lists all of the paintings Sarah Hawkins sold. Painting for Boston clients. This Boston client bought a lot of her paintings, no? Exhibition, JF, FS. This is Dr. Feller returned. Gift, the Shambler, treatment, painting for treatment. It seems the last one was given for free to a Francis Sanders. I wonder why. So that is FS, Francis Sander. Despite what happened, they seem to have loved each other. Hmm.
nothing else around here. Oh. Sarah Hawkins' agent was getting worried. Seems she wasn't giving any signs of life. Oh, fuck. Agent's letter. My very dear Sarah, ever since you left to bury yourself away on the Lost Island, your art has been attracting increasing numbers of collectors. I beg you to send me some new paintings. The last ones, so somber and strange, moving as no other paintings I have seen, are selling at a premium price. <laughs> your percentage of these most recent sales is attached. Do not forget your friend who was the first to recognize your genius and display it to the world. Affectionately yours, Maximilian L. Hmm. Huh? Anything else? What about this room? The door is blocked on the other side. The other side, can I open this? Bradley? Is that you? The hell? Who's here? What will her room reveal about her? Oh, this is her bedroom. Barbiturates. Sarah Hawkins must have been extremely agitated resorting to such a treatment. Oof, these ones are hard drugs. She must have been very nervous. Let's unlock this from the other side. Also, oh, you can access this even without finding the key. Okay. But you must have the lock picking ability, you know? This padlock is too complicated. Oh, maybe I don't have a don't have it. But we found the key, so we're fine. Wait, who opened this door? Who's here? Hello, officer? What are these scratches? Hello? Is anyone there? Is this where she kept her paintings? Or her studio? What the hell? She painted us? Oh! Who the fuck are you? You. Hey. Stop. Get him. Where the f Intruder. Officer. Bradley, did you see which way he went? Who? I didn't see anyone. I just heard some noise. Are you all right? A man was hiding on the upper level. He ran when he saw me. He can't be far. Catch the thief. What was it? He had like a robe or something. Oh, I now have the lamp. On the top bottom right, you can see that uh, gets consumed. Bro, you didn't see him. Cover you. Light source. You might switch from one light to another. Oh. Where are we going? This door was closed earlier. Oh, true. Where did he go? Huh? He must be hiding somewhere. Scratches. As if the bookcase has Do been really moved think several the times. Game in here? I don't see any way out. I moved the bookcase. Hmm. Okay, let's go. Seems like this came from a log. Sailor's logbook, 1847. This is uh, the great catch thing, you know? Darwater Island, say North. Captain Hamilton. Oh, well, it appear without a trace. What is eating this huge beast? I told Hamilton that it was a bad omen. He doesn't care. 
We drop anchor near a village. The inhabitants say that the waters are red with the blood of the sacred beast. And to follow them is to defy the gods. I told them that I only fear God Almighty, but in the loneliness of the hold, I am scared. We have sighted a huge well in the distance. Its size seems to be beyond anything known to man. It sends out an infernal song. Hamilton wants it. We have caught it! It's the most grotesque well I have ever laid eyes upon. It will go into memory as the biggest catch ever. Men have died, but we have gained glory. This day will be celebrated for years to come. Dark water. We have beaten the Orpheus. Return with empty hold. Cecilia and Hamilton are only memories. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. They look like Celtic runes. Charles must have brought them back from one of his foreign trips. Celtic or Celtic? Oh, what is this? Why are these letters here? And not with Sarah Hawkins' belongings. Letters from Sarah's father. These letters have been opened, but basically have not left Charles Hawkins' office. Wait, was he like confiscating his father's her father's letter? What the hell? Tied together by careful not break why the Hawkins intercept his wife's mail. What the fuck? That's fucked up. That is fucked up. What is this map? It looks like an old seaway map. Oh, these are the coordinates of uh, the story we just read. Not the Scylla, the Prodigal, the Orpheus, the Saint Laudine. Looks like the navigational paths described in the log. Oil refill. Oh, nice. Clearly, Charles Hawkins knew Captain Fitzroy very well. Hawkins and Fitzroy. He's a third man. They seem close. I wonder who the man with the glasses is in the photograph. It looks like a freehand map of dark water. Certain areas have been highlighted. I wonder why. So this is the warehouse, no? Bar, maybe? The Scylla. It's the boat that was stranded at the entrance to the harbor. What is this? This panel is movable. Hold up. Oh! Cogwheels. They must be linked to an opening mechanism. Probably a secret passage. I must find a way to activate the opening mechanism. Uh, Force the gear. Use the crowbar. With this, I should be able to force the gear. I wonder how you... Can you do it in any other way? Oh. Oh, we got it. Did we get it? Oh, there you go. Well done, Pierce. <laughs> I think you can do like a puzzle with the coordinates, but I'm not sure. But hey, this is the easy way. A passage hidden in the mansion. Hold up. Oh, like a freaking cave. Okay, chapter four. Panels under the Hawkins Mansion. Inside the Hawkins Mansion, the scene of the fire revealed its secrets. Here's an officer Bradley, now on the trail of a survivor, had undertaken to search the place looking for proof. When a hooded man leaped into Sarah Hawkins' workshop to steal a painting, detective and police officer set off after him. By following him to the office of Charles Hawkins, they discover a secret passage. Pierce and Bradley enter the tunnel under the mansion. The secret passage under the manor. It's like a detective novel. That guy must have already gotten far. Yeah. And he had a direct means of entry to the crime scene. We must find him. Come. What is this place? It's more than just a tunnel. Three seats. Look. Someone's been here recently. Yeah, they put the lamp on and everything. Reconstruction time. What the hell is that thing? Detective time. Is that like a mask? Some cops? Did Charles Hawkins use this place? Who were the others? Ooh. That's the symbol we saw in the painting as well, no? From Sarah. Is this? 
Whatever Charles Hawkins hid here, he didn't want it in his house. Hmm, why? Uh, what is that thing? What is this mask supposed to represent? No mate. Oh, there's something here. This piece of cloth is unmistakably from a dress. Oh. Was Sarah Hawkins here? Sarah was spying on Charles. She knew about the hideout thingy. Or this secret passage. The underground chamber. <gasps> See how smart Pierce is? Picking up on those... Picking on that. Like, look at that. Sheesh. Okay. Keep going. We say it as out colonizers. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. This is a big passage, no? What the hell? We're going down. Uh oh. So why did Sarah paint us? She Of course. She... And something tells me that the key is someone there. The steps. There's tunnels all over this island. Given the size of this cave, there's got to be other entrances. The passage continues further down. Might as well start with that. I ain't going to squeeze in there. I'll find another way. Come if on, possible, bro. I prefer not to ruin my uniform. Fine, fine. Go look for another entrance. I'll try my luck down below. Yeah. Go to the main cave. This is starting to look a lot like the first nightmare we had at the beginning of the game. Oh, no. Ugh. Yeah, I don't care. Let's do it. At least we haven't seen any death fish yet. Not to crouch. Can I sque squeeze through? Oh, this. <laughs> Try to be quiet, man. Where are those? There's like markings on the. The hell is this thing? Some kind of dream catcher. If I touch it, it'll turn to dust. What the frick? These paintings must be several centuries old. What does this mean? By fish? And then people here dead or something? That. This is like that thing we saw in the mirror, huh? Those stones. What the hell is that thing? This monstrous creature must be an allegory. Someone can read the someone can read the What is that? Is this same creature with these people lying down? Are they dead? Are they asleep? What does that spiral represent? My light source is uh, dying, so I guess I use the the light. These for buildings seem to have come out of the water. Hmm. Okay, we are archaeologists now, guys. Cave paintings. Jump. Let's go. Cool. Oh, maybe we can open the door for the cop. Bradley, where are you? 
He's not there anymore. He sold me. He left. He's one of them. <laughs> Time has weakened these structures. Uh, I hope they don't break them. You fell down. That's how I was looking. Hmm. So what happens if I run out of oil? I don't have time to search them all. See, not gonna say anything about how similar it is to his dream. What the hell is this dude? Is this a uh, dragon fire? It looks like animal oil, but certainly not whale. Ooh. Green animal oil. Okay, this is where we saw the guy, no? Be careful, man. Please tell me this is not closed. What the hell? What's going on here? As a lot of people, it's a cult. Piers, keep your voice down. We're not alone. Good God! What have you got me into? We'll see. I'll go on. Try to go down on your side. Yeah, there's a passage. I'll meet you at the bottom. There's a freaking sect. Below the mansion. What the hell is this? What the hell is this? I love the color palette of the game too. My painting is there. What the fuck is this? Oh, mass grave. That fish around as well. A table for sacrifice. Oh. Yo, this is getting an engraved whalebone. A strange creature has been carved into it. Probably a figure of worship. Interesting. Locked. That is steep, no? What is going on, guys? Oh! Yo! that oh. oh this is the nightmare so it's a prophecy i gotta we can't foresee the future it can't breathe oh shit we're going crazy panic attack some situations and encounters will make you panic flee the place as fast as you can i'm going i'm running oh fuck, no close. damn it Find a way out of here. Okay. Fuck, 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 fuck. It's like amnesia. Oh. When you are losing your sanity. Is it. Is it my turn? Yes. It is time. You will soon be one of us. If your body and mind are ready. I dream of it every night. I have constant visions. I am ready. Good enough. Prove it to us. It's like in my dream. Explore the caves. That's where I came from. I got freaking initiates and apprentices and shit. It seems to have been used recently. Probably some sort of ritual. 
A ritual dagger? Hell no. Hell no. What are you getting into, bro? Should have not accepted this life. case. <laughs> oh, it's in Latin. I know the Bible. Mm. Let's, let's say for now. See how many points we get for the next upgrade. Sanity. Yeah, we didn't have any other trauma. <laughs> any places? Hawkins Mansion. Tunnels under the Hawkins Mansion. And some occult shit. Ceremonial Circle. The Elder's Sign. Maleus Bestiarium. <gasps> Disappear Tribe. Interesting. But they're gonna perform a ritual to make that guy become a member or what the hell is going on? One of us. Holy shit, look at them. I don't have much oil left, guys. I'm gonna be using my lighter for now. Can see shit, though. What are these boxes? Hands up! Police! Oh, this is open. You who sleeps, accept this dream under your immortal will. Ya Cthulhu Nithsiha. Target. We'll go over there where, where they're gonna see life, me, no? And accept his so that his body and yours may be one. I'm not sure where to go. Isn't this where I came from, or maybe where Bradley was? So that his mind and yours oh. Locked. Oh, there, there's that, that's where the painting was. Okay, do I have to? What do I have to do here? They're gonna see me. There's someone on the table twitching. Look at that. All oh, this is oil. Let his soul guide you to us, just as your dreams. I. I feel him. Shh. You are gifted indeed. Oh. Not another word. Let him what the pass fuck? through every part of you. Oh, oh shit. You who sleep. We pray for your return. Bring the kingdom more of sacred flesh. This guy's sleeping here. Nice bed, bro. Or are they dead? What's this? Dead? This ritual killed him. Where's the sense in that? Again, this primitive writing. We are ready for the ceremony. Oh, shit. What about your protege? His awakening is complete. He will join you shortly. Can I leave? What's over here? Oh. 
What is Bradley? We need reinforcements. Bradley, what are you doing here? I saw two hard looking guys coming down. Seemed up to no good. Oh, this is the, the world is this? This is the vision we had. An intruder! Oh shit! Hands up! Don't move! Police! Don't move! Oh. I won't hesitate. Bradley, get to back. Shoot. Get back. You asked for it. No. Oh. Charles. Charles Hawkins? You shouldn't have seen this. Ah! Oh. Well, I'm next, so. Better run. Oh shit! Go! What the fuck? They're caving in. I need to get out of here. Run! Oh shit! I'm gonna die. Come on! Come on! I'm not really sure where I have to go, but. Oh, the exit! Please don't block it. Did I die? <laughs> oh, I'm fine. Uh, I mean. uh, uh, my leg. The leg. My leg. Okay, but at least we're out. Wait, so Charles is alive. And he's a freaking half human half. Ooh. Someone else died. Cult is member. Uh, half a uh, hentai monster. Get out! Light. At last. <laughs> no. <laughs> Ain't no way. Silence. Chapter five. Riverside Institute. Oh dear. Pierce and Officer Bradley follow the intruder to the secret meeting place of a cult set in a network of underground caves right under the Hawkins Manor. The witnesses a strange ceremony led by a char by Char Hawkins, very much alive. Bradley tried to arrest him, but Hawkins, whose body displayed various mutations, disemboweled the police officer. As he tried to escape from him, Pierce found himself prisoner of a rock ball, rushed to the Riverside Institute. He is in a critical state. Oh, shit. So we're going to the hospital. Who's taking us there? <laughs> Dr. Fuller. Oh, this is the guy with the sunglasses we saw in the picture. Hey, why are you holding me like this? No. I mean, this guy's friends with uh, Charles. He's having a seizure. Not Fitzroy. Strong and such. <laughs> Oh! There, he's opening his eyes. He saved him, Fuller. I, I can't get up. Wait, what? Don't move, Pierce. Hey, Bradley's alive. You certainly say that you gave us a scare. <laughs> what did you do to me? Undo these straps. Whoa! Go easy, my friend. You were dead. He killed you. 
Are you sure he's better? Do we hallucinate? He was, he was dead. Me too. We we were dead. What are you doing? I'm sorry, my friend. What? No. What is happening? Stop injecting me, shit, bro. <laughs> or maybe he's trying to make us think that we're the crazy ones. What happened to me? Why are you guys to me? Where am I? <laughs> bro, I'm on a freaking padded room with a straight jacket. Francis Sanders. Got no choice, Sanders and do we. Isn't that uh Sarah's No, no. You're leaving this cell. Please. I don't want him to find me. I want to find me. That was one of Sarah's uh like he was buying paintings from her, no? Something. Yeah, how do I get out of here? Sleep? Not the only way, I think so. There's no escape. I feel like I'm in Outlast now, in the mental asylum. This is a dream. Maybe the other thing was a dream. I don't know anymore. They trapped and hunted me. Assumed me right into their dreams. Leviathan. Is going on? No season is dark enough to hide the color of my blood. No wind is strong enough to scatter my dreams. I'm not sure who's more confused, Pierce or me. You there? Wake up! Marie, Come on, hold on. stand up. Oh? We don't have much time. Oh? A savior! My savior! Can you stand up? Who are yes. you? A friend of Ethan Bradley. It was he who told me that you had been interned here. The Wait. officer? Bradley is really alive. I don't understand. You filled me so full of drugs I can't distinguish dream from reality. Please believe that I have nothing to do with these. That's what social media does too. Look, Welcome. I don't have time to explain everything. I'm not really supposed to be here, and the same goes for you, according to Ethan. You must leave as soon as possible, and as unobtrusively as possible. We trust her. your clothes. Let me go ahead. We'll meet upstairs. <laughs> Wait a minute. I mean, uh, what do they do to patients here? I don't even know who I'm who I'm dealing with. You are not getting in too deep. How am I supposed to escape from here? 
What's going on here? What do they do to the patients to make them so terrified? I would really like to know. I only see them when they are brought up for medical treatment. For problems they didn't have before going downstairs. Oh. But this is neither the time nor the place to talk so about they have the public hospital. Not stay and here. then the... There are two men standing guard near the stairs. It's the only way to the floor above. The underground... I shall try to distract them. And get at least one to come with me. Secret experiment to shit. Is to follow me as soon as the way is free. Yeah. Understood. Two guards. Oh man, I wanted to go through all the other dialogues as well, but... Sometimes you cannot pick up uh, more than one, as you can see. Escape from the asylum. Let's free everyone! If I don't get out of here, I'll end up like him. Oh damn. Shrub on the bed. It's empty. I would like to say that I'm surprised to see you. But we all Stealthy time, guys. Will be your ruin. Doctor, I don't understand. These people need care. You keep them in this terrible place as if... Go back upstairs where your patients are waiting for you to... So she, she might be a nurse from here, no? As for you. Uh, Hmm. Stealth and tech zone. When an enemy suspects your Damn presence, it. a white well, marker appears and then red. Myself. Yeah. Stealth time, guys. Can I go back here? Oh, it's on the other side. Let me check over here. Oh, this one is open. This is where. This is what where. Does this mean? Sanders will stand. You can't escape. Burn. Let's reconstruct. Am I in an asylum? Sarah. Sarah. The paintings are cursed. What did he write about the painting? Is he blind? The symbol. Why the strange symbol repeated over and over? Sorry. What did they inject him with? Hmm. Oh, book. Some notes. Sarah Hawkins is on this list of authorized visitors. So Sarah visit him. Hmm. <laughs> Nothing else around here, I think. Not sure. Okay, let's try to escape. Create a diversion. Can I use one of the patients for diversion? Danger high voltage. Oh, I can hide in here. Do I lose sanity while in there? Maybe it's too dark. Okay, let's see how does this work. The machine is working again, but the control wheels haven't been put back on. Oh, you can lean. I was just going to the storage room. I can bring them to you. No, Dr. Fuller doesn't want us touching the pressure valve. As you want. I'm gonna see if there are sleeping pills left. They've run out again upstairs. Put oh, a few what aside is for this? Me, will and above all, leave the wheels where Good they God. Are. What could this machine be used for? It's an electric chair. No? Medical record of Francis Sanders. According to his record, the patient seems to be suffering from psychosis. He got his own eyes out in an attack of delirium. What the fuck? What is going on here? It's a good question. The 
It's an ammeter. I didn't expect to see one on Should this. Will I activate walk. this? I'm not really sure. What the frick? Yo, there's a dead there body a here. Between this corpse and the machine. Holy, this is getting really freaking dark. Oh! The corpse is complete. Whose are these limbs? Oh, there's more than one then. Okay. Not sure what these uh, devices are for. Green, yellow, red, blue. Do I have to turn them all in, maybe? Worse and worse. What? What's the connection between this meat and the electrical meat. installation? Isn't that, isn't that what the... Vats of rotten flesh? An elaborate electrical system? Like a dumb pulp novel. But they were eating at the dinner table? I don't know where these guys are. Be sneaky. Are these guys gonna see me? The rain goes this way into this room. Yikes. It's locked. That's a yikes. Is there anyone here? No to stop. Last week incident caused a significant damage to the infrastructure, putting a stop to current experiments. This is unacceptable. From now on, the wheels to operate the gas stopcocks must be kept in the storage room after each use. Moreover, you must keep the register of use up to date. Dr. Fuller. Okay, storage. We need to the go. green gas leaves from here and it runs through the whole building. Can I lock with this, please? Oh, yeah. Perfect. Oh. Okay, we got the green and the blue. It's done. Now for the others. We need two more. I didn't spot. Can I unlock this from this side? Ah, it's fine. Huh? We'll keep it like this. There is a vent. Oh, I can go into the vent. Do I want to go into the vent? Or is this... Oh, this is a hiding spot. I don't know, I can't go through here. I'm getting... I'm losing my sanity. Come on, bro. Hold it together. Hold it together, man. I don't even know where I'm going. It's getting more intense, no? Bro, I'm just going... Okay, you're fine, you're fine. It's impossible to break this chain with my bare hands. And see shit like this. The control wheel is missing. Ah, I need the cock thing. Oh, well, we got bolt cutters. Blood pincers to break this now. All right, that's progress. Can we find any other door? This valve controls the pressure. Can I... Okay, now is it maxed? This one is not working. This lever must turn on the gas machine. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. There's nothing happening. I need the I need the other hot wheel thingy. Memo to stuff. I repaired your machine as best as I can. However, the pipe the piping has been damaged, and I fear the gas is escaping. Yeah, I I, I saw that. I cannot do any more in such a short time. All I can do is warn you: if the equipment is put under too much pressure, there is a risk of explosion. Maybe we want to ex explode everything, you know? Fuck it. And break the gas and shit. The control wheel is missing. Oh, so maybe I use it here first, and then we use it on... On the other one as well. Oh, we need to go to the storage room first. Okay. Not bad. Let's go back to... Around here. I hear someone walking. Maybe they are patrolling around, you know? Anything here? Berberry of Medicine Tone 1. Blah, 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 blah. Medicine level up. Anything else? Oh, oh! 
I could use this control oh. wheel to turn the valve I saw. That is exactly what we needed. Let's do it now, no? Oh, that's the storage room, by the way. Yeah, let's get this now. Oh, what about this one? So we put this to the max. Everything to the max. Oh, maybe we need two, actually. Now for the next step. Can I do this one and then use it on the other one as well? Can I take it back? I don't think so. So I need two wheels. Yeah. Okay, let's get the other one from the storage room then. Storage room. I have to lockpick it. Please tell me I can do it. She. This padlock is too complicated for me. Oh, someone there. Almost saw me. Maybe I need to find the key for the storage room. Administration. Exactly what I need. Okay, okay. Locked. There's also a lot of stuff back there. I haven't explored yet. I haven't explored yet. Oh, the key's there. There is a person. There is a guard. Let's try to see if we can sneak past him. Is he cooking or something? Where did he go? I think he went to the left. Oh, he's there. Never mind. Sweat. Sway the little. Oh, shit. This is a dead end. I can wait here. When he goes to the right, we go for it. Get the key. Open the storage room. Get the wheel. Explode the gas, and we still have to find the other two cables. So, shit. go, go, go. There you go. It's gonna come back though. So, I got key to the guards' room and key to the maintenance room as well. Oh, this one. Okay. So now we can go through here easier. Oh shit, he's seeing me. Let's try to do it without uh, alerting them once. Oh, I don't have the key. It's no me. use. The padlock won't give. Who's this guy? So we're there. Might see me actually. Pharmacy. Yeah, they see you from far, no? I don't even know where I'm going. Gee, there's a guy here. So they have a light, so you can kind of uh, see them coming. Scopolamine, morphine, opium. Nothing but common drugs. So they're amazing 19th century. To be careful, this guy's gonna probably come back here soon. But uh, we can access the storage room from be from behind. Yeah. Oh, shit, he's coming back. Should I hide there or should I? Is he gonna hear me walking? Or do I have to crouch? Is he coming from the right, from the left? Going to the right side, so now we go. It doesn't seem to hear me. If I spring, probably no. With these chains on your wrist, you can't escape. Damn. What is the what is the item I need? What is the item I need? It's gonna come back soon. I need to be fast. 
Bro. He's around here, but I don't see it. He's coming. Let's be careful. What is the item? Come on. I'm using the launcher like this. Who the hell? To to reveal it. Oh. Found it. That was not easy to see, no? Can I open this from this side? The door is blocked on the other nope. side. I had to go the same way I came. Yeah, let's wait for this guy to come around here. He's coming. Oh shit, I thought it was coming this way. Yeah. Yeah, we got it, we got it. Be careful with the with the chef. Let's see, he's almost seeing me, that's crazy. They have a they, they actually have really really good vision. <gasps> oh shit. Oh. That was close. That was too close. That was too close. Let's get this. Not really sure what this is for, but I'm curious to find out. Maybe this is uh, the version we had to create. <coughs> I've got to hide before the guards see me. Who did this? Is somebody here? <coughs> Hell's teeth. Fuller's gonna think we did this. <laughs> we gotta tell him though. Bro. What do I do now? He's coming to They're gonna see me here, no? How do I get out? Let me go through the vent! Oh I can go through here. <laughs> Let's go. Come oh, on, you have a ledger. You should not get scared if you have a light, no? Come on, Pierce. Keep it together. So does that mean those two guys are gonna stay there now, or what? I'm gonna close this. Oh, but this is closed from the other side, no? Oh, I have the key for this. Oh. So are you telling me these two guys? Ah, they're gonna come back, no? This place is massive. This is the Jello cable. What? Why can I not turn it on? Archives. Sheep archives. Sarah Hawkins. Medical record of Sarah Hawkins. <gasps> Sarah Hawkins was interned at Riverside for feats of insanity a while before her death. She wasn't at their, she, she wasn't at her first attempt with the fire at the mansion. <gasps> Dementia, self-inflicted wounds, request for internment. Don't want to listen to the fact that Irene Sanders, wife of Francis Sanders. Had her husband in turn after he has shown grave, grave signs of madness. So it was her wife. Anatomy, anthropology, nothing surprising. Hmm. Zoology, esotericism, mineralogy, and a full shelf on cephalopods. Are these guys still here? They are. 
Wait, were these the guys that were here on the exit? So I can leave. Escape from the cell. But I want to do the chair thing, actually. What the frick? Oh, is this Francis? Doctor, is that you? Nope. Don't you worry about the doctor. Right now, he'll have plenty to keep him busy with his precious machine. It gives us time to get away. I'll undo you. Get away? Get away where? I, I, I can't go anywhere. It'll find me, like it found me here. You're mistaken about the beast. Don't stay with me, or you'll end up the same way. Do you need treatment? I'll have a medicine professional. I don't abandon the wounded. What did they do to you? You're Sanders, aren't you? I heard you from my cell. What did they do to you? What does Fuller want with you? The doctor? You think it's the doctor who scares me? The doctor wants to heal me. But he's the one who's crazy. He wants to restore my sight. He wants to give me back my eyes. And yet I told him that I didn't want him. I do not want to see it anymore. The real culprit is Sarah. Her and her accursed paintings. You're kidding me. You're talking about Sarah Hawkins. <laughs> her paintings did it to you? The legendary. There is no artist more enlightened or cursed than Sarah Hawkins. Okay, we have time. To Sarah invoke these scars. What do you know? Sec That's the secret of Sarah? Because of something she did to you. No, no, it's because she's cursed that she harmed me. On purpose. You say that Sarah Hawkins harmed you. If it were only me, her conscience, her guilt were eating her away. But she never wanted all that. Well, not really. What's going on on this island? I'm... I'm so sorry. We should never have met. What are you talking about? Destiny! It has trapped you! No, don't let it see you, or you won't be able to escape it. So don't look at it. That's how it finds you. What finds me? Sarah Hawkins' visitor. The Shambler. Sanders, pull yourself together. Without her, it's no longer possible to save me. Huh? Sanders. What the fuck? Oh! What the hell? Oh! Oh god! I got! I got it! Escape from the asylum! What the oh, freak is this real? I'm tripping! This is insane. What killed him? Oh, no, I'm out. Is this the way? Fuck this shit. It's some outlet stuff. This is a war rider. Oh, the guys. The guys, the guys. The guys is keeping us insane. Escape from the asylum. Damn! I'm losing it. <coughs> the gas! Oh, really? Oh. Oh. My head. Later. We need to move on. So, is this guy alive or not? I don't get it. Chapter 6. <laughs> Hawkins Mansion. Pierce woke up in an asylum installed install in the cellars of the Riverside Institute. He met Dr. Colden, a female friend of Bradley, who helped him to escape. Wandering through the corridors of this place where Dr. Fuller's reign supreme, Pierce was able to talk to a man called Francis Sanders. Before dying in full view of the detective, he accused Sarah Hawkins of being the cause of his torments. Pierce finally left the accursed building, accompanied by Bradley and Colden. The companions in misfortune decided to use the Hawkins mansion as a hideout. What is happening? Uh.
Holy. He see me. Who goes there? That nightmare again. I need a drink. <laughs> So probably is alive indeed. Oh no, this looks nicer now with the sunlight, no? <laughs> and we escaped the silent. This is what it counts. Oh, this looks nicer. Mr. Pierce. How do you feel? Did I sleep long? The day is only starting. It's fine. We have a morning drink, some music or something. This table was on the floor before. Hmm. No, I want to know what Bradley and Dr. Colden have to say about all this. Don't drink. You. The guys was enough. All right, so to put it together how i don't i don't know anymore how's our fugitive dr fuller hasn't reported why is he kind of pointing that way that'll come soon bradley who else would it be mr pierce are you all right oh, okay you look like you saw a ghost i th there are things i can't explain tell us what happened uh uh, occultism professional. We cannot choose this because we don't have enough level. Sarah Hawkins was the object of a cult. Talk to Bradley. Talk to Colden. I might be onto a lead, but they had me endure. I have flashbacks. They haunt me. What did they do to you? There was that doctor Fuller, and a nurse. Blood everywhere. My legs. I, I couldn't bear it. I was screaming. They injected me with something. I woke up at the Institute. Bradley was there. And how you scared us. You seemed... So what about the... Ask him about the tunnels. You likely woke up during the anesthesia. No wonder those memories haunt <clears> you. <throat> what in God's name were they doing to you? What happened afterwards? When I woke up the second time, I was in a padded cell. That's where you found me, Doctor. After you released me, I got a good Do you remember all this? Are we on the same page here? The Riverside Institute. Or I'm just tripping. Hallucinogenic gas pumped into the cells. An infernal machine. Horrific medical experiments. Impossible. Dr. Fuller would never do such a thing. You should believe it, Ethan. What Mr. Pierce saw is precisely what I've been trying to prove. Did you discover anything else? <laughs> all of shit. Uh, I, I, I don't understand. I guess this icon means it's like a casual dialogue. And then the exclamation is something more important, I'm guessing, no? If I go here, I don't, I cannot skip this, right? I hope so. I, I met a Francis Sanders. Do you know him? Yeah, this is important. Of course, he's a patient. Or was. I haven't seen him since Dr. Fuller had him transferred to the basement. He knew Sarah Hawkins. And that's what killed him. What? How did he die? <laughs> I'm not sure I can explain. Yeah. Tell me how Mr. Sanders died. Uh, I call him a sh the Shambler, a sort of crisis. <laughs> Fuck it, let's go all crazy. I didn't see what, but something was there with us. Of what do you speak? Sanders said it was Sarah Hawkins visitor he spoke of it like a living being sarah hawkins have i missed something here a lot this makes no sense my guy i don't see how it can help crack the hawkins case you really think she's involved how could she have murdered mr sanders francis sanders mentioned mrs hawkins just before dying it's no coincidence you know francis sanders was a well-known art collector I guess you can still pay a visit to his wife, Irene Sanders. Mm. An art collector, you say? That's probably how they... I love how 
If you plan on the having boys dinner at the Sanders household, there. please spare the widow the tale of her late husband's suffering. I don't agree. She deserves the truth. But that truth may be biased. We don't know the bottom of it. Let's say prudent, better to confirm the truth. Let's start prudent, but then push, you know? At the same time. Uh, yeah, I don't want to scare her, you know? You're right. Without a plausible explanation for what I saw, let's not jump to conclusions. Yeah. That seems wise indeed. This will Very affect well. your destiny. I'll go to see <sighs> Francis's widow. That was an important Perhaps choice. Perhaps I'll find a link between her husband's death and Sarah Hawkins. Don't end up in the hospital this time. I'll do my best. Okay, game safe. Talk to Sunless Widow. I want to talk to you guys as well. Let us go now and learn the truth about what's happening on oh, this so island. Oh, so I cannot talk to them anymore. The other night's events are still confused in my head. What do you mean by that? You, didn't you saw Charles and then you got attacked and then the cave collapsed? So what happened with all of that? Come on, bro. Resist the temptation! <laughs> right, so now we can leave to see Irene. Chapter 6, Sanders' residence. Pierce, Colden, Colden and Bradley decide to team up to solve the Sarah Hawkins case. They have a new trail to follow. Francis Sanders, an art collector and friend of the painter, who died right in front of Pierce. The detective goes to his house in order to speak to his widow about the shambler that the unfortunate man mentioned before he died. What can I do for you, sir? Mrs. Sanders, I'm a private detective. We must talk about your husband and his ties to Sarah Hawkins. Can I come in? You may. However, before we go any further, please know that my husband died yesterday. That is precisely oh, she's here as well. what brings me here. <clears throat> well, well, look who's here. Hmm. You know each other. Our paths crossed. Briefly. The brave detective has a talent for sticking his nose into my business. I bump into her every time I'm investigating someone's death. It's a small island, detective. My island. It's better that it's you bumping into me. You're investigating Francis' death. Why? Who hired you? I spoke to Francis before he died. His story suggests a link to a case I'm working on. Well, since this business has got nothing to do with me, I'll be in your husband's office, Irene. We'll carry on later. Very well, Miss Baker. Miss Baker. This way, Mr. Pierce. And do make yourself comfortable. It would seem that you have much to tell me. Hmm. Okay, let's... Let's try to choose wisely. May I no, inquire please. as to when you had the opportunity to talk to my husband? Yesterday. I met him at the hospital. He spoke to me about Sarah Hawkins. Oh, of course he spoke to you about her. That's all he talked about. Sarah Hawkins and her paintings. Please forgive my tone. The fact is that I have not been allowed to see him since he was interned. You, on the other hand, a perfect stranger, were able to see him and even talk with him the day he died. How was he? Were you present when he had this attack? What happened? Oof. Must not feel guilty. He died screaming right before my eyes. Holy shit. I was no longer there when it happened. You're taking it quite well. Guys, I don't know what to choose. Psychology professional. I don't know. Let's, first, let's start slow. What happened to your husband is terrible, Mrs. Sanders. But from what I saw, it was inevitable. The man I met yesterday had lost his reason. He suffers no longer if you would allow me such a platitude. Of course. 
This will affect your destiny. Thank you for your kind words. Nobody in that hospital would have deigned to speak them to me. However, it will require more than that to soothe my mind. I need to understand. How, how could this happen? In a reputed institute? And, and right before your eyes? Did you not do anything to help him? All to test eloquence, oh boy. I cannot go into the upgrade menu here. Share your grief, but I had nothing to do with it. That sounds very guilty. The truth, the true culprit is Fuller. It was me who sent him there. Oh, this is before because we found the note that she, it was her who sent her there. Had sent him there. But we're blaming her for that, no? It's kind of rude. And then we're blaming Fuller here. Oof, I don't know what to choose, guys. But she's saying that... Yeah. It's terrible what happened to your husband, but I had nothing to do with it. I was injured, and I came across him in the hospital quite by chance. Injured? Well, I'm delighted to see you in such fine fettle, Detective. Not everybody enjoyed such a prompt recovery. I suppose Fuller does do miracles now and again. Luck is obviously very kind to you. Oh, I'm tired, Mr. Pierce. I would be grateful if you could tell me what you expect of me, and then leave. Okay. Did he speak to you of a shambler? How do you know Sarah Hawkins? What is Kat doing here? Hmm. Did your husband talk to you about Sarah Hawkins' visitor? A shambler, to use his precise terms. <laughs> well, you can't imagine that's all he talked about. It's exhibited at the center of the gallery. No better place for the painting that endowed him with the privilege of such a shameful and miserable end to his life. Hold on. The Shambler is a painting by Sarah Hawkins. Who else to paint such horrors? Take a look for yourself. Do I want to see it? Inclined. It is my only lead at this stage. I suppose I have nothing to lose. Oh, shit. Then you have paid no heed. For my part, I refuse to set foot in that gallery again. But if you are so eager to see it... Thank you, Mrs. Sanders. I won't be long. Okay, let's check the gallery. That creepy painting. But first, I want to see everything here. <laughs> oh, you can play the piano. Hmm. Wait. Maybe we can find a melody somewhere. The day the Shambler came into the Sanders' lives. Well, that's the painting. What the hell is that? It's like a jaw. Ooh, we can do reconstruction. Did she really care for him after all? Letter of refusal. Dear Madam, I acknowledge the receipt of the letter in which you demand the body of your deceased husband. I'm sorry to inform you that I cannot agree to return his body to you. At the moment of his interment, you sign it at his charge. Allow me to dispose of his body as I see fit. I extend my deepest condolences to you, Thomas Fuller. What the fuck? They can keep her husband's body. That's crazy, no? Yeah, let's do the reconstruction. Mm, cup of tea. Someone's here. Francis Sanders and Sarah Hawkins were close. Friends, even? Hmm. Oh. A house of artists. Oh. Sanders' accession register. He wrote beside the Shambler. Finally. What did Sarah Hawkins fear so much that she didn't want to sell a painting? Oh, shit. He finally won. Was Sanders aware of his imminent doom? And she's like, look. Was she jealous of Sarah Hawkins? He didn't want Sanders to have the painting. Mm. She must have felt devastated. Oh, 
Oh. Oh, he took his eyes out. The Shambler. I need to see it. Do I? Do I really? Oh, what is this? Let's see what this cylinder has to say once it's inserted in a phonograph. Session one. Oh, this is a uh, Aldi log. Hmm, okay. This plate. Irene, I made a mistake. I fear that it might be too late for me. Nobody should enter, except to burn everything. I never had the courage. Pay somebody to do it. He's inside my head. I see him behind my eyelids. Each time I shut my eyes. Mm. Is that the piano? I can't take any more. I can't hold him back. Forgive me. That accursed gallery. Those accursed paintings. That accursed Sarah. That sounded like a piano melody. Let's try it. It's like... Oh, I got it by accident. Is this dagger part <laughs> of Sanders' collection, or was he seeking to acquire it? Art and mysticism forgotten objects by Francis Sanders. It's a collection written by Francis Sanders, and he catalogs and categorizes objects from all ages and origins that are linked to occult or mystical practices. It is open at the page of a dagger that bears a symbol that is not unknown to me. Like a double blade. And the elder sign. <gasps> oh shit. So we have some points to spend. We have 11 points, guys. Come on. So we're getting. We'll get investigation to the full. Let's do that. And then we get. We need six for, for uh, eloquence. Let's get to this. We need one more hidden spot and then eloquence or the other thing. I wonder why those two doors are closed. Oh, she's here. A strange Amerindian pendant. The whale and the cot. A brief story of Darkwater Island by Erwan Rimmel. I could use one of those. Everyone is taking sleeping pills here. What the hell? Strange. For months, Sarah Hawkins refused to part with her painting. To finally give it away for nothing. Letter by Sarah Hawkins. Dear Francis, I beg you to give up all hope of ever owning this accursed painting. If our friendship has any meaning to you, please spare me the weight of guilt. I cannot be the architect of your fall. I beg you, my dear friend, forget the shambler, your friend's out. So she knew all along. And he still insisted. That's crazy, no? An old diary. Ah. Strength. <laughs> what did I get? A key to Sanders Gallery. I mean, I needed that, no? Will you read the book? Oh, shit. Oh. What is it called? I can see the title from here. Uh, fuck it. Oh, the best diarium. This will affect your destiny. Just reading this book, huh? <gasps> this is a kind of encyclopedia of monstrous and unknown creatures. I'm beginning to believe that they exist. This kind of look like the the hounds of uh what were they called? Oh shit.
Uh, House of Infellows? Infellows? This is a question. Pindalos. Uh, that one. That's the word. That's twice you've stepped on my toes, Detective. Try not to make a habit of it. I've got a lot of bad habits. <laughs> Some can be more fatal than others. What have you come looking for in this gallery? Another painting by Sarah Hawkins. None of your business. I got to verify the paintings for a buyer. That's a lie. I don't think she's gonna buy that. Uh, let's go easy. She's a... Uh... Another painting by Sarah Hawkins. It's scary. One connected to the horrors I've discovered on this island. What a surprise. I'm listening. Okay. And you, what are you doing here? Did you see the dagger in this drawing? Very well. <laughs> uh... I found this drawing of a dagger. Did you come across anything like it in your reading? Perhaps. I saw several daggers in the ledgers. I could always check. What I didn't find, however, was the slightest reason why I should help you, Detective. Damn! I don't need your services. I can manage all on my own, thanks. <laughs> Do it then. I wish you Not now, sweetheart. <laughs> I'd like to read this without some snoop looking over my shoulder. Are you sure about that? Look right over your shoulder. Okay. Uh, what about? I don't know. Just go into the gallery. I think this is the door, no? Oh shit! Oh shit! Holy! Oh, and she said the dagger is in one of the ledgers, no? These artifacts date from pre-Columbian That's not the one. The one we saw had two blades. That one has more. This one has three. What the freak? That is not it either. Hmm. <gasps> the painting is there. Let me check this left side. Where the frick is the dagger I'm looking for? The public entrance to the gallery. These paintings are crazy, no? Why oh, can't refill my oil? That's big. Hmm. hmm. Oh, that, that's the one, no? No, this one, this one. Yeah, this one has two blades. Why was he so interested in old weapons? That looks like the one we saw in the painting, right? Yeah, it is this one. Okay. That one there. Yo, these artifacts are crazy, no? The man transforms an entire wing of his manor into an art gallery. This is scary. This is what uh, Francis was talking about. I was hunting him. What the hell was that? Oh, 
Oh shit, it's there. Oh, it's coming this way, no? Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Oh shit, run! Hi, did I close it? Oh shit. There's no closets here. Oh, there's one here. Oh. oh shit. Please don't. Oh, I'm dead. I'm so dead. Please go away. It's terrifying. Oh yeah, maybe I need the dagger to kill him. Where is he? Oh! Fuck, it was around the corner. I cannot go too much into the freaking... Where is he? Into the closet. Sorry, I lose my sanity. Oh, he's there. If I look at him, I also lose. I also lose sanity if I look at him. The dagger is over there. How do I get it? Look at how it looks. Is he coming for me? Oh, I got him. This dagger looks different. Oh shit! Kill the painting! Kill it! Oh! Oh, he's getting sucked into the painting again. Go back to the shadow. Oh, he's grabbing me! Stop him! Stop the motherfucker! Oh! Hell no! What the frick? What's happening to me? What's the matter with you? Uh, what? I can't explain. You, sure you won't be needing that hand. You're losing it, detective. At this rate, you're right. The bottle will get you before I do. I haven't drink anything. You didn't see anything. I saw you within an inch of putting a dagger through your forearm. Did I miss something more interesting? I was attacked by a creature. The painting was cursed. I just drank a bit too much. And she's not gonna believe me, no? So what's the point of saying this? But I didn't drink! How do you improve the occultist so much to get this? Fuck it, I'm gonna go with this. I was attacked by a creature. I pushed it back, I think. I... I think so too. You mean? You didn't hear anything you knew about the monster? You must have noted the state of my arm. You knew about the monster? You knew! You knew about the beast. What are you talking about? Think yourself lucky that I saved your hand, even if it was to save my goods. You mean me? Don't flatter yourself, sweetheart. I'm talking about the contents of this gallery. And by the way, where do you think you're going with that dagger? It saved my life. It's an extraordinary dagger. You should talk to Algernon Drake. He's an antique dealer here on Darkwater. Oh. He'll tell you all about it. From what I saw in the ledgers, it was him who sold it to Sanders. Oh. I really should talk to you, Drake. And you give me this informa information free of charge? It's not your style to give me free information like that. Take it as payment for being my canary. A simple trade-off. Now go see your antique seller. I still got things to settle with Irene. Okay. That chapter was terrifying. Oh, that is the first 
creature and it was not really a five, but that was cool. Why is she crying? What did she tell him? She could tell her. Chapter seven, the nameless bookstore. <gasps> okay. The Shambler turned out to be much more than an artwork painted by Sarah Hawkins, as a huge creature came out of the painting to attack Pierce. After a hard fight, the detective managed to send it back into the painting. He later discovered that the dagger he used to repel the creature had been sold to Sanders by a man named Algernon Drake, owner of the nameless bookstore. Pierce decides to pay the library a visit. Oh. Someone broke in. What is going on? Everywhere we go, there's something happening related to what we are investigating, no? Back the bookstore. Where is the bookseller? Hello? This place is. Let me see if we have any points to spend or anything to read. Got a couple of points for this, no? Let's get that. Sanity. Oh dear, we're getting a lot of trauma. Mental trauma, the ritual. So this is what we saw. Sanity shaken. Okay, what about this other trauma? The death of Francis Sanders. That was also pretty traumatic. Lifted off his feet by an invisible force, the poor man's body was carried into the air before being thrown violently against the bars. Ugh. Yeah. Maleus Bestiarium. From reading the book. Creatures from the occult world or parallel dimensions. By reading it, Pierce lost some of his sanity. <laughs> yeah. Meet the Shambler. So I missed two traumas. I want to get them all. Collecting traumas here. That's cool. More people. Charles Hawkins. Marie Colden. Francis Sander, deceased. Dr. Fuller and Irene. Places. The Riverside Institute and the Sanders Residence. From the occult. Get this guy. And like I said before, all of this is not part of the original book of Call of Cthulhu. This is like a compilation of uh, tales from Lovecraft, okay? But I like how they are well put together in this game. Because the main uh, the main argument of the game, it is Call of Cthulhu, but it uses inspiration from other books. So that's cool. Dagger of the Ancients. Meeting of the Shimbler. Clues. We read this before. Just trying to get rid of that exclamation mark thingy. Sorry. Knowledge. That's yeah, something. In case you didn't read it or you pick it up and didn't actually see the description, you can check it here. Let's go. What should we get next? Psychology or eloquence? Hmm, probably eloquence. Okay. Let's search the bookstore. Oh. An old diary. 
volume 4 diary of the pastor's wife seems like it was like uh like another case of sarah no like someone yeah like a prophet someone freud's the interpretation of dreams hmm. it's the work that laid the foundations of psychoanalysis at the beginning of this century I cannot believe that this theory is applicable to my nightmares. Where is the the owner? Hello? There is something behind that painting, no? Handbook of Anatomy and Dissection Book 1. I like that you level up, quote unquote, to finding knowledge, like books and stuff. We check back here first and then we go to see that painting. History of Dark Water Volume 2. Not sure what that's for, just. Mythology, theology, biology. The Book of Zion is the foundational work behind Helen Blavatsky's theosophical movement. Its followers place truth on the same footing as a religion. I never heard of this book before. Interesting. Is that cool? Another medic section, book two, more medicine. Oh. Will you read the book? Always. Always read the book. What does this strange book contain? This, this will affect your destiny. Knowledge. That's the Shambler! Divinities from the stars, creatures capable of traveling from one dimension to another. Shit. The curiosity to kill the cat, guys. You're gonna end me! Oh, there's a different what room here. here. Oh, reconstruction time. Some scrolls on the ground. She's. Chalice. History of Dark Water Volume 4. Another one of those gramophones. More oil. What's that sound? I was going to wait. I was going to detective mode. Let's start over. Yeah. Where did they break in from? Duh. Blood. Seems like amateur work. Duh. Did they were they bleeding? Oh, they were bleeding. <gasps> Where's this? Someone tall left this footprint. A man, probably. Mm, a big shoe. A big shoe. They broke uh, something here, no? This burglar seems to be rather clumsy. They drop a lot of stuff. The book. What killed all these animals? This roaches? And a rat? Oh, fuck. What sort of thief leaves his tools at the crime scene? Left the crowbar. What happened that made the burglar flee before finishing his work? Safe box that it could not open, and it was protected, maybe, by the elder sign. That's crazy, huh? Look at my keys, by the way, guys. What the? Charles Hawkins? I got pushed back? Oh, is this uh, Charles? Wait, it's Sarah and uh, is that the the bookstore guy? She was painting this sign there. What sort of power did Sarah Hawkins' painting possess? So she wanted to keep her husband from taking this book. Ah! Oh, 
Look at my, look at my keys. Hide something in this safe. <laughs> I'm safe from the older gods. Wait, what are you doing? Drake put in a great deal of effort to hide whatever is in here. Everything is linked to the Sarah Hawkins case. So what did he put here? Do a letter. Drake left instructions on how to find the combination of his safe. Okay, Drake's memories. So we need to find a combination. A page seems to be hidden here. It is possible to read. If somebody finds these memoirs, there will be there will be no doubt that I am in serious trouble. My last and only hope is that my body and bones are still in this plane of reality in order that they be recovered and burned. The funeral urn must be given to my dear mother if she is still of this world. The following message is of capital importance. Whoever reads these lines and demonstrates acuity as sharp as mine can hope to gain access to my most precious possession. It lies within my safe and the clues to the combination are to be found in three cylinders, each hidden where life and study combine in the Greek word. Each cylinder is numbered even if, as the celebrated author, uh, where did I go? Celebrated author says, Order is the pleasure of reason, but disorder is the delight of the imagination. Indeed, despite my preference of, for organized chaos, I must admit that reason usually prevails in the end. Hmm? Huh? If by chance a person, or should I say a genius, was to match my intellect and find the combination of the safe, I will ask that they deliver its content into the safekeeping of my friend and college professor Arm Armitage of Miskatonic University. The content of this safe is not only a vast digest of knowledge, but also a weapon that is far too dangerous for it, for it to fall into the wrong hands. I hope that you will be able to appreciate the danger that this represents and that will and that you will act accordingly in any event, I will neither be there to guide you nor to suffer from your actions. Yeah. Okay. Are, are we a genius, guys? To open this. We need three numbers. We need three numbers. Okay, we got this. Or. What link did he find between Charles Hawkins and an old amulet? A key of relief file. This key that bears the elder sign is the only one able to protect your psyche. It is in the form of a cylindrical medallion hanging at the end of a heavy chain. Hundreds of years ago, the star and the branch whose purpose is to push back to the, the forces of the great old ones were engraved at its center. Everything points to it being Charles Hawkins that tore it from the last owner. An Egyptian antique dealer. Oh, that's why we saw the photo of him in Gitsa. Impressed cuttings that mention that the, the, the this misdemeanor, the date of the robbery coincides with the last of Hawkins' strips of to Cairo. It remains to be seen whether he knows of the true purpose of the artifact. Try to find it. Holy. Is everyone on this island taking sleeping pills? Yep. That's crazy. Hmm. Oh, there's a lot of books around. Arkham editions. Never heard of them. I thought on the other horrors. So this is volume nine. How many volumes are there in this collection? Isis Unveiled, volume seven. How am I supposed to know? Another volume by Arkham Editions. So the University of Miskatonic is like a fictional university that Lovecraft said in his uh, creations, basically. So. Arkham Editions. Never heard of him. Volume 8. How many volumes are six, there in this collection? Nostradamus. 
Another volume by Arkham Editions. Only one. O era Linda. Hmm, interesting. Arkham Editions. <laughs> Never heard of them. Things that should not be. Very interesting. How many volumes are there in this collection? Corpus Hermeticum. Hmm. And they, they, also they mention... Oh. Didn't find that before. Good. They mention another book somewhere else. Oh. 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 Cylinders that Drake tried to hide. I should perhaps listen to them. So this is where the hints are. I guess it was saying they were hidden on the bookcase on this section. Okay. But now I wonder, maybe once we listen to the cylinders, everything will make more sense. Wait, what is this? A kind of chalice. It's kind of broken, no? Goblet. Hmm. Okay, let's start from the first one. And these red rocks, like precious stones, lie fixed, set in divine gold. To be the guardian of the grail does not protect me from its attractions, Henry. And I do confess it. I am willing to pay to know its secrets. Red drops. Things are not looking good. Red drops on the goblet, no? They say the grail. The chalice of knowledge. So how many red drops there are? So let me see. One, two, three, four, five, five. So the first number is five. Let's go for the second one. I finally understood that we were only pieces on the chessboard of the gods. Let those of us who are still standing protect our white queen from their dark soldiers. I see our number dwindling. And my will strengthens as my apprehension grows. We shall refuse to be the playthings of destiny. Is it the numbers of pieces left for the white? But the whites don't even have a king. Well. So it might be four or three. Not counting the queen three, counting the queen four. Okay, so five and then three or four. Dear friend, I thank you again for the anthology of the works of Arkham editions that okay, you sent. Okay, these are the books. Uh, volume 9, Azathoth and Other Horrors, seemed particularly relevant to my research. I never tire of browsing through them. Volume 9. Did it have volume 9 have... This was this one, no? Drake talked about a particular volume. So should I just use nine? <laughs> that is not like any hint or anything, no? Just straight up the volume name. So let's try... Uh, five, four, nine? That didn't work. So three here. Oh, we got it! First try. Oh, what the? Oh, shit. It is that one. It's the infamous book. The Necronomicon. <laughs> He's looking at me. Holy shit. Like I said, that was very cool. Uh, from here to the end, 
I feel like the game is a lot more intense as well. So, cannot wait. Thank you all for watching, guys, and I'll catch you next time. Have a good night, and bye-bye. And don't enter the madness.